guys, welcome back to my Barbie pool party. I have some special guests here today. And today, this video, I'm gonna be using our 2000s era plastic pool. If all that you have is our Swiffer pool, you can do that too. Doesn't matter what pool you're using, but let's just have some fun with our Barbies in their pool party. Now, I did make a slight change to my Swiffer pool. Can you tell what it is? I'm gonna rotate it. I added a Barbie sticker to make this known that this is a Barbie pool. This was the leftover stickers from the door hanger video where I cut out too many of them and I stuck it on the side of our Swiffer pool. Let me know in the comments, do you like it better with the Barbie face or with the gap in the middle? My preference is the face because I feel it's filling in the pool a little bit more. Now, let's move on to our special guest. Over here, we have a 1980s era Malibu Barbie in her original Malibu Barbie bikini or two-piece swimsuit. And she's over here with our little Frito snack that we made. Everything is starting to tie in together. And she's hanging out on her pink, her pink fuzzy fleece, fleece felt towel that we made when we did the Dollar Tree chair and table video. And over on this side with our new Chelsea dolls, Chelsea's friends, and our Chelsea, we have Skipper and DJ the dog. Now, remember when I did the video for these things, and I said, somewhere I have this Skipper doll, somewhere, and she has the little flippers and the mask. I finally found her. She is missing the shorts, so she came with shorts, and she is mid-2010s. So she's, this doll is averaging eight years and this one's averaging, well, we can do the math. She's from the eighties. She's around 40 years old. These dolls are so very different than these Barbies. And in a different video, we will compare, but I figured it's a pool party. Let's bring all of our Barbies to join us. This is the cute little dog and it has the little snorkel too. This is our little DJ dog. Isn't he cute? And he came with our little skipper set. She did come with shorts. She has the blue streak in her hair and the mask. Now I wanted to compare the quality of the mask that she came with, with the Dollar Tree one, but I don't know where I've put the mask. So we're going to instead compare the flippers because this was the Hawaii, she's from the Hawaiian movie with the puppies where they go on an island adventure. I can't remember the name, puppy adventure something. I don't know. There's so many Barbie puppy movies. But look at the quality. I'm going to hold these up and I'm going to take these off. Oops. Take one off her foot and we'll put the other one on. The first thing that we're going to notice is the size. Look at the difference. One of them is so big and one of them is so tiny. This one has a split and this one doesn't. This one is a little bit more of a tight fit on her foot. And her foot, Skipper's feet are around the same size as a flat Barbie's feet. If you don't have Barbie brand or Mattel brand doll flippers, I'm still saying go with the Dollar Tree. Absolutely. These are so worth it. If you don't have anything, why would you, why wouldn't you? Just why wouldn't you? So it doesn't always have to be about the real brand. We do a lot of Dollar Tree stuff here. We make our own snacks. That is the fun of Barbie. Now, I did say we needed some new Barbie accessories and some new fun for our pool party. Look what I have. Ready? I am so excited. The kids in your life are going to love this if you don't love this. Look at this. I got this at the dollar store at our Dollarama. It was under $5. So at your five below Target in the US, look at this. It's got like a purse. A little hat, another purse. Like, I don't know what all this is. There's some seashells and necklace. Look at that ice cream. This one is authentic Barbie. So if you can find this and you have the means to afford it, I would say go for it. If you can't stick with the Dollar Tree swimsuit stuff, there's nothing wrong with it. I love the quality of it. I mean, we have our little flamingo tie. I still have the stuff. It's not like I donated that stuff or I threw it out. We kept that. The Dollar Tree stuff is fantastic. I also wanted to show you, if you can't find this Dollar Tree chair, you can go to craft stores. I found this one for $3.19, and it's just the little wooden chair. 
You've seen this in other videos with Barbie. I am going to sand this down. There is a little rough spot there. And then that's also going to be for our Barbies. And eventually we're going to have this huge pool set up because why not? Barbies are fun. Crafting's fun. Right? Let's just open up the stuff. Let's just get right into this. I'm going to put our little puppy. Will he sit right there? Oh, he will. Let's get right into this. Did I bring scissors? No. Hold on one second. I'm going to grab the scissors. You think I could learn to be prepared? I don't know. Let's go. Let's cut that little tag off. I am excited. I love when we find Barbie accessories. It's hard to find these. I mean, not so much now. It's getting easier now that the dollar stores sell them. But I remember struggling to find accessories. And the Dollar Tree accessories like this were so convenient. Let's get this open. If I can. If I can. They make these things so hard to get out. And summer is coming. So if you can find these anywhere these would be so great for for everyone for making barbie displays and photo shoots to give to kids and grandkids birthdays you know give it to everyone let's open these up oh my goodness this is so we get one two three four five six seven eight one two three four ten things 10 things, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 things, 12 if you count the shoes as two pieces, which you know what? Sometimes they count the shoes as two pieces. <laughs> we know this, but <laughs> we know this. I'm first off so impressed with this hat. Normally I'm going to take everything out, but look at this. Make a splash. Look at how high up this hat goes on our Barbie's head. Like, look at how high up that sits on her head. I'm gonna compare that to Miss Nikki over here, or Miss Christie, depending on the age of your Barbie. This is the Tokyo hat. Let's compare side by side. Do you see how high up the top of this one is going? The Dollar Tree and Dollar Store ones are more like this. This one is actually quite high up. And it clips on so perfectly to her head. Oh, I love it. I love it. All right, let's see the shoes. Okay. Now, I purposely kept these shoes over here. These were from our Dollar Tree set. They were jelly. And these are the same type of thing. So I'm thinking that these shoes, these are a higher quality already. You can tell because they are Mattel versus Dollar Tree. So they are the same wedge type. Let's put them on a Barbie and compare. Now, I'm going to have to put them on my skipper because I didn't bring a flat foot Barbie with me today. All of my Barbies have heels and a vintage Barbie has different feet than a new Barbie. Look at, oh, they fit so nice. And we'll compare it. We'll compare it. So now she has one of each. And when we do the shake test, the Barbie ones are not going to fall off because it has the strap. But the Mattel, the Mattel, the Dollar Tree ones, because of the rubbery silicone, are also not going to fall off. I love these about Barbie shoes. Look at how cute. And they match my little skipper swimsuit. These ones, I believe, do we remember? Did these fit Chelsea? I'm going to go, oh, yeah, they're a little big. They're a little big. But these could be worn by your Chelsea dolls. So again, when we're looking back, the Dollar Tree stuff is still winning. It's a lower quality, but it is still winning. Let's see what else they have. Okay. Is this a purse? Does this open? Does it open? Oh, that's too bad. So this is a beach themed purse or bag, but it does not open. I mean, I love the seashell effect, but the Dollar Tree bag opens to put the towel in. I mean, okay, it's cute, but it's losing playability. I don't, I don't like it. Mattel's stuff is getting, Mattel's things are becoming a lower quality and I don't like it. Here is an actual purse. This one's cute. It's bubbly. Can you hear that? It does open up, 
but realistically, like, what are we going to, can't even put your water in there. What are we going to put in here? Maybe Barbie's cell phone? <laughs> oh, you can put a Barbie cell phone in there, but it's so big. Like, compare that to a Barbie cell phone. This bag is teeny tiny, so I don't know what you would put in it. I really don't. I don't know what, let's put it right there. I don't know what you would put into it. Let's move it down so you can actually see it. It is tiny. So, so far, the hat, the hat's winning. Okay, let's go. Oh, I know what these are now. Okay, okay. This I like because I've not seen this. Yes, I don't want to break the elastic. I think this is a hairband. Oh, okay. I need a Barbie. All right, here. I don't have enough Barbies, apparently. Let's take the hat off of her. Look at the hairband. Oh, look at the princess hairband. Oh, I love it. I love it. Will this visor fit in a vintage Barbie? Ooh, not so much. Do you see that? Her head is a little... Barbies have really changed shape. Okay, <laughs> if you have some vintage Barbies, the hat doesn't fit. Let's take the goggles off of Skipper and put the hat on her. There. It goes with her outfit. Okay, we're making things work. We're making them work. Look at this. Oh, I don't want to drop it. It's so tiny. It's a mini ice cream. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got to give that to a Chelsea friend. Can she hold it? Oh my goodness. They make the clip so tiny. Can they hold it? They clip it. Oh, I got it on her hand. <gasps> Look at that. Our Chelsea friend is enjoying an ice cream. We should really name our Chelsea friend. So right now, Chelsea friend number one is eating an ice cream. Put some names in the comment. Get your kids and your grandkids, nieces and nephews and neighbors to tell you some names that we can name these dolls because they can't just all be Chelsea's friends. Look at this. Look at this. You know I love a good Barbie glasses. They're hearts. Oh my gosh. Look. Oh, they do not fit Barbie. Oh, that is so disappointing. They're a little bit big. Our Tokyo, remember our Tokyo glasses? Look at that. Let's move her purse. Those Tokyo glasses, they stayed on. These are really wobbly. Oh, that's unfortunate. But they look cute, so we'll keep going. This is such a good deal. I'm going to have to take the rest of this stuff off. This is such a good deal for how inexpensive it was. If you can find it, I have a pearl necklace and I have a seashell. And I think maybe they connect like that. Oh, nope. They do not connect like that. I don't know. Sorry, my dear. I just pulled you by your hair. I don't know what the seashell is supposed to connect to then. Unless it's just that. Like they picked it up when they're walking on the beach. Oh, maybe they picked it up when they were walking on the beach. That would make sense if this was from a Barbie beach movie, this set, because it doesn't say. Maybe that's what that's for. Okay, so we have a Barbie that's just holding a seashell and a pearl necklace because, you know, all Barbies wear pearl necklaces to the beach. And what are the last two things? Come on. Oh, maybe the seashell goes on this. What is this? What is this? What is this? Ah, oh, come on. I'm going to cut this one out. I'm going to have to cut it out because it's tangled. This is a seahorse. Does, is it a long necklace? It's a long necklace. Why would they... I'm a little confused as to why we would have, unless this set was designed to dress two of your Barbies, we have two necklaces, two purses, one hat, one headband. I guess so. So you would put the headband and the sunglasses with the necklace on one Barbie, and then you'd put the hat with the necklace on the other Barbie because the hat visor would cover her eyes from the sun, I suppose. I don't know. But we also have this cute little... Oh, put it in the camera. Watch. I don't know why all these Barbies need watches unless they are smart watches. But look at that. Oh my goodness. I love it. I love all of the changes to our Barbie pool party. This pool is getting really full. 
pretty soon we are going to need a second. We're going to have to use the second pool just to fit all of our Barbies. And now I've gone ahead and I've put these on her. These are a little big. These smaller ones fit her much better, fit the Chelsea size Barbies. But look at that. Our Barbies are ready for summer. They are ready for the pool. They are ready for adventure. Let me know in the comments what your favorite part of this set was. I love the hat. I absolutely love the hat. The hat and the ice cream or popsicle are a win for me, depending on what you call it. And that is it. Yeah, I love the hat. I love the popsicle. I will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing.